All right, this is Brother Aisha Yar coming at you with another lesson. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakak Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles of the great millstone, which I learned is true from. Honors to the elders and brothers out there pushing this word through the four corners of the earth within truth and sincerity. And Shalom to the Akwat that's listening and learning. Uh, today's video is going to be entitled, Keep Moving, Never Stop. And uh, of course, I want to get into this lesson because, you know, I made this lesson based off what's going on within my personal life. You know, I'm not getting into anything. I'm not going to say anything personal, but, you know, there's a few things that I've been going through as far as, you know, certain uh, bumps in the road or whatever and everything like that. You know, some certain things that's been happening as far as me being sick and as far as me having uh, bodily pains and all these other things, man, you know, certain things that you, you don't enjoy, you know, can, can be vexing to the spirit, you know, but at the end of the day. You know, these things can be a, either a faith booster or they could be a thing to uplift your spirit at the end of the day. Because, you know, when you're at the bottom or and I ain't going to say at the bottom, but when you're, when you're going through things that you don't enjoy, you know, you appreciate um, the the after effects more. You know, you appreciate the, the, the work that you put in. You appreciate the efforts that you put in to pull yourself out of that hole, you know. And at the end of the day, as far as speaking about this truth. You know, we're supposed to keep running. That's why I got this picture right here. You know, we're supposed to keep running for the prize, which is to make it on a chariot and which is to get into, uh, to be uh, found worthy to be uh, th the first fruits of salvation. All right. So no matter what happens within your daily life, man, you know, you always got to keep pushing. You always got to keep moving and never stop, man. Even though, you know, the most I can send demons or whatever, the most I can have certain things happen to you within life or whatever. Hey, you can't let those things um, get to you, man. You can't let those things uh, wear you down. Because at the end of the day, man, you got to remember, we are still under the curses. And we have to go through things, man. We, we're not free yet. <laughs> we at the end. But that doesn't mean that, you know, everything is going to start happening for us quick. And, you know, we know the names of Yahweh Bashem and Yahweh Shai, right? So we can call on those names so he can help us out from time to time. But just like... Uh, my brother Star Sahara said, he was just like, man, but you got to remember those blessings sometimes won't be answered that fast because we are still under the curses. You know, he'll probably you, he'll probably listen. He'll be like, OK, you know, I'll help him out sooner or later. But right now, I just want him to go through this. So it is what it is, man. So at the end of the day, you got to keep it within your mind that, you know, everything doesn't last forever. You know, this life that we live in is only temporary, man. We're coming into a permanent kingdom where we're going to live within righteousness. So we got to make sure we keep pushing no matter what, man. No matter what. So let's get straight to the scriptures real quick. Let's get 1 Corinthians 9 and 24. And it says, Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize. So run that you may obtain. And every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things, now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible. I therefore so run, not as uncertainly, so fight I, not as one that beateth the air, but I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest that by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. So pretty much, man, this is what we're doing, man. We're running a marathon. The thing about a marathon is... It's a it's it lasts for a very long time, man. You know, you got certain parts within a marathon where people might take breaks or whatever, not take breaks. People keep going, you know, no matter what the speed is, no matter what speed that you're going at and everything like that. The whole point of a marathon is to make it to the end, you know, because with, when this when a, uh, when you have a race, you know, you're trying to beat other people to the finish line. And we kind of doing that, too, because like it says in verse 24, it says. But one receiveth the prize. We already know that prize represents the kingdom. The prize represents us being being on those chariots and being able to actually taste the uh, uh, everlasting life, man. You know, to actually be by the side of you. How about Shimmy Yahweh Shine and the rest of the angels and the rest of and the rest of the elect that's getting ready to make it, man? You know that is the prize. So we got to run and try to win that win that race because you know, at the end of the day. That's what matters. But, you know, when you run a marathon, man, you know, certain things might happen. But your whole point and goal is just to keep going until you see the finish line and actually cross that ribbon, man. 
So that's what we're doing. We fighting for that crown that's incorruptible, which is everlasting life. You know, we're not trying to um, get uh, pleasures and everything on this side. We're not trying to get that corruptible crown. You know, we, we don't want we don't want that fame and that fortune that comes along with this territory. You know, because at the end of the day, man, this is all about to disappear. I mean, you can look at the celebrities right now. They don't have any. Um, they're still famous. Yeah, they still have riches and everything like that. But they're losing their picture, man. They're losing their image. They're losing who they really are because they can't perform and do anything the way that they used to because of uh, this 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 uh, pandemic that's going on. You know, you know, they got uh, people that can't uh, work their TV shows. You know, musicians can't go on tour. All kind of things, man. You know, you got certain events where people are starting to uh, have a, a crowd or whatever, but they're still separating them. You know, it's not like the way it used to be, where it just be a full packed uh, audience. You know, so at the end of the day, man, they're slipping. They went through the wide gate and everything, and they worked hard for it, slipping from under their fingertips. With ours, man, it's not gonna slip. You know, yeah. How about Shimmy was shy, or should I say, yeah, how was shy? He's going to give uh, the elect those crowns, man. It's going to be incorruptible. And that's going to that's the point, man. We want that prize. We want the prize that we know is going to last forever. So this is uh, let's get Zechariah 9 and 12. And it says, turn you to the stronghold, you prisoners of hope. Even today do I declare that I will render double unto thee. You know what? Let me uh, get the blue letter for this one. Let's get the blue letter for this one. All right, here it is. Yeah, Zechariah 9. And we're going to go to 12. And it says, Turn you to the stronghold, ye prisoners of hope. Even today do I declare that I will render double unto thee. When I have bent Judah for me, fill the bow with Ephraim, and raise up thy sons, O Zion, against thy sons, O Greece, and made thee as a sword of a mighty man. So pretty much the point is in verse 12. It says, Turn you to the stronghold, you prisoners of hope, because that's what we are. We are prisoners of hope. Why? Because we don't know if we're going to make it or not. You know, we hope that Yahweh Bashem and Yahweh Shah finds us worthy to be saved. So we got to do what the scriptures say. We got to make our calling sure. We got to make our election sure. And by the way we do that is we turn to the stronghold. Let's get. Let's see what this uh, word means real quick. It says turn to the stronghold. All right, the Hebrew word right here for stronghold is... I believe is Batazawaran. Batazawaran. <laughs> Rawan, I should say. Batazawaran. And it says stronghold. Then we go down to strong definitions. It says a fortress. Stronghold. We go down to the lexicon. It says fortified place. Stronghold. So we all know that a fortress, a fortified place, that's a building. That's very strong. It's very hard to take that place down. It's very hard for somebody to break into that place and take it over. And that's what we're looking forward to. You got to build your body up like a stronghold. You have to build your body up like a fortress. You know, a fortress is well protected. Okay. Okay. And we already know, you know, Yahweh Ratazah, Lord willing, we are protected by Yahweh Bashem and Yahweh Shai. You know, Lord willing, he he's making us that fortress. Okay. But we are prisoners of hope at the end of the day because we're hoping that we'll be saved. We, we don't know who's going to make it. But at the end of the day, though, you should have it in the back of your mind where you're just like, look, I'm going to do the work and I'm going to do what's necessary in a, anyway, even if I don't make it, just so the other ones can make it. You know, that's showing how diligent you are. That's showing, that's showing how sincere you are, how much you of a passion that you have for this truth. OK, we turn to the stronghold, man. We turn to a, our power, the power that can never fall, man, because that's what he's going to give his elect, man. He's going to give his elect that power to keep moving. You know, he's going to give us actual spiritual power, but he's going to give us the power right now within this flesh to keep moving within the spirit, to keep doing what we're supposed to do, even if things that uh, that, that might happen to you, you might not like or enjoy, he'll, he'll still put the spirit on you to keep moving anyway. And that's the goal, man. That's the goal, to keep moving no matter what. Even though we are prisoners of hope, just because we don't know every part of the elect doesn't mean that we shouldn't look forward to the end. You know, at the end of the day, we already know once this place goes down, all Israel is going to be in a in a righteous state. All Israel is going to be in a good state. So no matter what, we all going to get there one way or another. And we all going to live a, a great life. But, you know, we just want to make sure that we make it out of here, out here alive. 
Or if we are martyrs, we hope that we are still beamed up because we died for a righteous cause. All right. So this is Matthew 6 and 19. It say, lay not up for yourself treasures upon earth where moth and rust doth corrupt and where thieves break through and steal. See, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt and where thieves do not break through nor steal. That's what that stronghold is, man. Like I said earlier, you know, that stronghold, you know, it's a, it's a fortress. It's a place where it's, it's very hard to break into. And that's what we need to do. We need to lay up our treasures upon earth. How do you lay up your treasures upon earth? First of all, you got to repent and convert yourself and come back to the ways of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. You know, follow the commandments, statutes, and laws. Start following the Sabbaths and new moons and high holy days to your best abilities. You know, and then if the Spirit comes upon you to actually learn these scriptures and go out and teach, then you do that. Or the Spirit comes upon you to be a help for the prophets out here and the teachers. You know, you do that. But you do whatever the Spirit gives you. And you, you take it and you run with it, man. Just like, you know, when people, uh, when a dude gets the torch at the beginning of the race and everything like that, he gets that torch and he runs with it all the way to the end, leading away, man. So that's what you got. That's what we got to do. We lay up treasures upon earth because the more and more you do this upon earth, the more and more you stay in the spirit right now, you know, that's the more points you get, so to speak. That's the more, uh, love that you might receive. From your how about shimmy I was shy. They'll they'll keep looking down on earth. They'd be like, hey man, look, this person right here, hey, he he never stopped. He he's still going. You know, he's doing what's necessary. You know, he's really showing that he's sincere about this and he's uh asking for forgiveness. You know what? I'm gonna cover him for his sins. And you know, and once that happens, hey, nobody can break through or steal. You know? So that's what we gotta do now, man. We gotta lay up these treasures upon earth so nobody can break through. And still what we have, which is the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, man. We can't let these demons break into our, our bodies and change us around, turn us around. Because if we do, <laughs> we already know what the end is. So we ain't about that life. We ain't about that life at all. So let's get Proverbs 2 and 1. It says, My son, if thou wilt receive my words and hide my commandments with thee, so that thou incline thy ear unto wisdom, and apply thy heart to understanding. Yeah, if thou criest after knowledge, and lifted up thy voice for understanding, if thou seekest her as silver, and searchest for her as for hid treasures, there go treasures again, then shalt thou understand the fear of the Lord, and find the knowledge of the Most High. All right? So that's the treasures, man, this wisdom. Okay? This wisdom that Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai has given us is a treasure. And we lay up these treasures upon earth because, like I said, once you turn back to the ways of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, what it say in verse 5? It says, Then shalt thou understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of the Most High. The fear will come upon you, all right, because you'll start thinking finally, you'll be like, Look, if I do this, man, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to get jacked up. It's going to be a wrap. But <laughs> you, you don't want that. All right. You want to make sure that you are always in good hands, man. You want to make sure that the most High got your back when Jacob's trouble uh, is presented. All right. You want to make sure that he sends the angels down to perform those miracles for you. Do all those things so then you can make it. OK, so you got to lay up those treasures upon earth. And one of those great treasures is wisdom. That's why it says if thou seekest her as silver and searches for her as for hid treasures, then shall thou understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of the Most High. You know, Jake always loved to get rich. Jake always loved to try to make as much money as possible and, you know, flaunt it on Instagram and do all these other things. They always want to hustle and do whatever it is is necessary, you know, for them to finally live in a better neighborhood, better house, better car, whatever the case may be. You know how hard people go to get to get rich to finally live comfortably all right to live comfortable watch the say so like you that's how we got to look for this wisdom because this wisdom is going to be is is it is great as silver and gold okay because when you come into this new wisdom man nobody you you just see everything clearly for what the world is man you pour it out of the matrix and that's what you want to stay you want to be poured out of the matrix you don't want to keep uh being sleep and blending in with the world you can just see, man, as soon as you get into this truth, you can instantly see how everybody else reacts, man. And you just look at the stupidity that's upon them, man. 
he be like, man, if I, I this used to be me. <laughs> Be like, man, this used to be me, but now that's not you anymore, man, because you had came into this knowledge, and now you seek, you search for it as as uh as it's silver, as for gold. All right, it's verse six and say, for the Lord giveth wisdom, out of his mouth coming knowledge and understanding. He led up sound wisdom for the righteous. He is a buckler to them that walk uprightly. See, there it is again, a buckler. What does a buckler do, man? It protects you, straps you in, makes sure you're safe. That's what that stronghold is. That's what that fortress is. That's what these treasures are, man. That's what your how about shimmy how shy is all about, man. The greatest power to protect you, the greatest power to keep you uh, standing on your own two feet, man. That's why we say all the time, keep praying, keep fasting, keep doing what you got to do. Even though things might not go as well as you want it to go, hey, man, guess what? As long as you keep doing what you're supposed to do, he'll be your buckler for you at the end of the day, man. He'll make sure you're strapped in for the ride, man. He'll make sure that you will not fall off of those <laughs> those tracks off of this roller coaster that we're getting ready to go into. And he'll make sure you'll make it all the way into the end, man. And that's the point. Like it says right here in verse 8, it says, He keepeth the path of judgment and preserveth the way of his saints, man. And we already know who the saints are, man. The saints are the Israelites. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right? Let's get Romans, man. Let's get Romans 12 and 9. And it says, Let love be without dissimulation. Abhor that which is evil. Cleave to that which is good. Be kindly affection one to another with brotherly love and honor, preferring one another. Not slothful in business. Fervent in spirit, serving the Lord, rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer, distributing to the necessity of saints, given to hospitality. Okay, so the point that I want to point out was in verse 11. It says, not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. So when things happen to you, man, you know, you get to the point where, you know, you might have like a long day's work. Uh, like I said, for instance, for me, you know, might get sick, might have bodily pains, stuff might be holding you back from achieving what you want to achieve from your day to day basis. You know, the certain goals that you might have within that day and everything like that, you know, and then at the end of the day, you'd be like, all right, you know, got to do the work for the Lord, too. You know, I got to make sure I do that because, you know, that's the most important thing. And then at the end of the day, you know, but certain things can happen where you just be like man you just don't feel like doing anything you just vexed within the spirit but at the end of the day you can't hold yourself back from that you know you can't be like well look i just had a bad day i gotta had a bad week man I, i'm just not you know let me just chill or whatever let me just recollect myself by doing whatever i want to do for this amount of time and everything like that no if you do that man you're being slothful within this business which is the the work of your how about shimmy how shot it says, don't be slothful, man. It says, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. You know, you're supposed to serve the Lord at all times, man. You know, no matter what you're going through, man, even if, if you only did a little bit for that day, at least you did something just to show him that you still proven your faith. You still believe in your how about shimmy, how was shy. And that's the point. You're supposed to keep doing this to keep building, keep storing up your, your treasures, keep stirring up those points, man. You know, it's like a video game. <laughs> You know, you play the video game and everything like that. You keep doing a good job, man. That's the higher score you have. And, you know, then at the end of the game, uh, especially the old school games, you go to the arcade, they'll have like the top 50 or top 100 or whatever. He, here's the top people with the top scores and everything like that. You can look at that as the elect, man. <laughs> this That's the elect of that video game, you know. These are the people who put in the work. Now look at them, man. They all... You know, exposed for their fame, they're exposed for the work they did, and they and people are now going to try to beat that score, whatever the case may be. But at the end of the day, hey, we already know ain't nobody going to beat this score, man. If you part of the elect, man, you won, period. Ain't nobody going to top you. So that's the point, man. We are, we, we are not to be slothful, man. We want to keep building up those points. We want to keep making sure our eyes and our ears are open at all times, man. Let's get some rock. Let's get some rock. <clears throat> uh, five and seven. It says, Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. 
For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. All right. And that's what's something that you do not want to do, man. That's the whole point of having the fear of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. It's because we know that this place is getting ready to be destroyed. And we know sudden destruction is coming. And we know this place is getting ready to perish, man. Because the Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai has a vengeance against Esau. Okay? He's going to use Esau to bring judgment upon our people. But at the end of the day, he's going to bring him down too as well. All right? So... We are not supposed to make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. We're not put, supposed to put off from day to day. So like it, we're not supposed to put off from day to day. All right. We're supposed to tackle. We're supposed to do something that we knew what was worthy every single day, man. You know, do a lesson every day. Uh, read every day. You know, when, it's, when the Sabbaths and everything come up, you know, make sure you do that to your best abilities. Do You already know what you're supposed to do as far as uh, this truth is concerned. You know, you know what you can improve on, you know, we're going to history, uh, start uh, learning precepts, you know, whatever the case may be, you know, whatever um, the spirit comes upon you to do. That's what you're supposed to capitalize on every single day, man. You know, this don't never have days or uh, days in a row where you just be like, man, you know, when is the last time I did something for you? How about shimmy? I was shy. Now, you don't want that type of spirit, man. You want to make sure that you always did something for the Lord, man, no matter what. That way you can go to sleep with um, with some calmness, man. You can go to sleep with, with being cool. You know, you ain't got to go to sleep being like, all right, well, I guess I'll make up for tomorrow or, you know, I, I'll do double or I'll do triple. You know, make things easy for yourself, man. Make things easy for yourself. Go ahead and tackle what you're supposed to do that day. That way the very next day, man, you'll be cool, man. You ain't got worried about these demons attacking you because of you being slothful and you um, taking all day to come back to the ways of Yahweh by Shem and Yahweh Shai. All right. I'm going to get one more scripture and then I'm going to close it. Get Ephesians 6 and 10. And it says, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of the Most High that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of the Most High, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. All right? And that's what we're supposed to do, man. We're supposed to put on the whole armor of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai so we'll be able to stand against these evil times that's coming and against this wickedness that we're going through from day to day right now all right because when you come into this truth man you know it is you know uh like it says uh in the scriptures oppression makes a wise man mad you know so when you talk to certain people or you go through certain things within this life and everything like that and you realize what's going on and you know it's nothing you can do about it but just go through it you know, it, it, it vexes your spirit. It, it makes you upset. It pisses you off at certain times. It makes you just want to slap somebody and whatever the case may be, you know. It is, you, you just sit back and you just realize at certain times you, you might just be alone for that moment because nobody can understand the way that you live it and everything like that, man. You know, but at the end of the day, man, this is what we're wrestling against, man. We're not wrestling against flesh and blood. Blood, so like you. But against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places, all right? We're wrestling against this 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 world that Esau's presented us, man, you know, trying to be the best that we can be on a daily basis, you know, as far as going to work or whatever the case may be. But at the end of the day, man, you know, this is why I say that we wrestle and we need to put on the whole armor of the most high because this spirit that we have, that we have been blessed with, is our fighting tool man is our instrument is our sword like the scriptures say our sword this is what we fight back with man that's why it says um scriptures should be our uh comfort in within these last days you know we're gonna go through certain things within life we and, and all kind of precepts or scriptures is gonna be popping up in your head and you don't you're gonna be like you know what it's all good I already knew this was going to happen, you know, and I'm already prepared for it, man. I got this scripture right here in the back of my mind. I'm going to make sure that I have this uh, locked in, man. That way I can keep moving forward, man, because I already know at the end of the day, if I keep doing this, man, 
my Lord, my power, Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai is going to take care of me, man. And that's what you got to believe. You got to believe it, man. You, you know, the scripture says that, man, you're supposed to walk as if you're the elect. You're supposed to do that, man. Even though we are prisoners of hope, but you're supposed to walk as if you're the elect, man. Walk as if you're going to be saved, man. Not being proud, though. Not boasting, not bragging because you have this knowledge. But being humble and, and you know, having the spirit upon you to keep moving forward within this truth doing what's necessary for you of you you know taking care of your responsibility so then you can make it upon that chariot man and that's the whole thing of this man you know pulling yourself out of this world and no matter what people think of you you know and hey at the end of the day we are hoping that we make it man so hey i hope this is edifying you know like i said i just want to bring this out because you know for the past few weeks, you know, I've just been going through some things or whatever. But, you know, I keep praying. I keep doing what I'm supposed to do. And, you know, I just I just let the Lord take over, man. And how right is are, you know, he takes care of all of us, man. Hopefully we all make it, especially the ones that's taking this truth seriously. All right. So with that, I'm going to say call Halayim Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rekakwadash. Double honest to the apostles of the great millstone, which I learned is true from. Honest to the elders and brothers out there pushing this word through the four corners of the earth within truth and sincerity. And shalom to the aqua that's listening and learning. And Yahweh Ratazah, I'll be back with another lesson. Keep pushing, Yasharala. Keep pushing. We almost out of here. Shalom.